This is Wednesday Night Bible Study for May the 11th in the year 2022. You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them because greater is the one who is in you than the one that is in the world. 1 John 4.4 4. The one that is in me is the Holy Spirit. The one that is in the world is Satan and his demonic hosts. The, the demons that are trying to destroy and kill and hurt. But Jesus is in me and he is greater than anything Satan can throw at me. Jesus got off the boat this day and he was in the land of the Gerizines or the Gadarenes, whichever you want to say it. And a man who had been very sick because he had demons inside of him, came racing out to meet him. And Jesus said, come out of him, come out of him. This man had not lived at home for a very long time. He had lived in the tombs because no one could bind him, even with a chain. If they put a chain on him, he just ripped it off. He wouldn't keep clothes on. He, clo he kept ripping his clothes off. Um, they had tried to put him under guard to keep him at home but he just kept going back into the cemetery. Nobody was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and in the hills, he would cry out and he would cut himself with stones because if you cut yourself, then Satan notices and he wanted to be cut. He kept cutting himself. Um, the demon would keep him in solitary places where nobody else was. And the man that had the demons in him, the very sick man, came and threw himself down in front of Jesus. And the demons inside said, What do you want with us, son of God? See, they knew who he was. Have you come here to torture us before the appointed time? We don't want to go into the abyss. Don't throw us into hell. Let, let us go someplace else. How about into those pigs over there? Will you let us go into the pigs, please? Will you let us go into the pigs? And Jesus said, What is your name? And they said, our name is Legion because there are many demons here that are controlling this man. And there were some pigs there. And Jesus said, all right, go ahead. And they left the man and they went into the pigs. And 2,000 pigs were running down over a cliff and drowned. 2,000 pigs. There was so much satanic power in that one man that it destroyed a whole herd of pigs. And the people who were taking care of the pigs ran back to town and said, something's happening out there. The pigs just drowned. And so the people from town came and there was the man who nobody could keep clothes on, who nobody could tie up for such a long, long time. He was dressed. He was sitting beside Jesus. He was listening to what Jesus had to say. He could do it. All that bad stuff was gone. He couldn't hear any bad voices. He couldn't feel any, anybody trying to destroy him from the inside. He was all better. And the people from town got really scared. They said, Jesus, get out of here. We don't want you around here. This is too scary. We don't want pigs running down off cliffs and die. And we don't want sick people to get better. And Jesus said, okay, I'll leave. And then the man that had got better said, I want to go with you. Can I go with you? Please, can I go with you? I really want to go with you. And Jesus said, no, you go back home to your family, to your friends, and you tell everybody what God has done for you. And so he did. He went back and told the people in that area all about Jesus. So that when Jesus came back later, they were ready to hear what Jesus had to say. Should we say the memory verse again? You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them. Because greater is the one who is in you than the one that is in the world. Dear Father God, we pray with these kids that so just ask, O oh Lord, that they might have a clear understanding that the power of the Holy Spirit that comes to live inside of a believer 
is more powerful, more dense, more able than anything else in the world. They don't need to be afraid of anything if they have you inside of them. We thank you, O Lord, that you healed that man that day. And I ask, O Lord, that as we bring to you the things that hurt us, that you might heal us as well. In Jesus' name, amen.